fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today as you can see to kit up my next drills and chills kit because I want to get started working on it ASAP so that I can get it finished before the month of October. So I am going to be working on Conversation. This is a kit that I bought from Francesca's Studio Works. I've got my stickers. I've got everything separated into DMCs. I'm going to be using my Elizabeth Ward to kit this up. I think I'm ready to go. So I do have several colors, background colors and things that I've got multiple bags of. So I've picked out most of those. I have three colors that I have three bags of. So I'll be putting those in the large containers. And then I've got a couple of colors that I've got two bags of. I'll probably put them in this size. And then I will probably start filling up all of these tiny containers because I think most of the colors will fit in here and we'll see how I end up. So for the first three colors here that I've got three bags of, I need 550 and 552. So let me get those stickers off of here. And then I've got one more, I think, yes, 154 that I have three bags of as well. So, all right, so let's start with those. I need my funnel. I forgot to grab that. How could I have forgotten to grab my funnel? Let's hope these aren't super staticky. I didn't cut through that one all the way. All right, so those aren't super staticky, I don't think. And there's a couple. So it didn't fill it up, but hmm, now I'm wondering if I should put them in here. I don't think they'll fit though. I think it'll be too big for that size. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 550 and 552 in this extra large container. Those seem to be pouring out pretty good. There's a little bit of static, but hopefully I can take care of that afterwards. So yeah, you can see a little bit of static. They're sticking to the edges, but that's okay. All right, then this last one that I have three of, and then all the rest I have two. So I'll do those next. Get all these in here. And then we'll see where I'm at. Let's see if I've got any stuck to the bottom. Nope, a one on that one. Okay. All right, so there's those three containers. Then I've got all of these colors that I've got two bags of. Everything else is only one bag, and most of them are not very many drills at all. So let me put these, I'm gonna put one in this size, and then we'll see if I need this or if I can get away with this. I'll do one of these first. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the sticker on yet. I'm gonna put the drills in and see if I even need to use this size or if I can fit them all in the next size down. I bet I can fit them all in the next size down. So let me do that. Because if I can fit them all in this next size down, then that makes more sense. Another thing this funnel is good for, so even though there was quite a bit of static in there, I still got them all out of there. Only one, and they're on. All right, so this was number 14, which is 301. So let me get that one on there. All right, there's that one. And then I need these other sizes. Let me get stickers put on some of these. Number 17. Okay, I think I have all of the stickers for these. Let me start with this one. I'm excited to get started on this kit and see how quickly I can get it done since it is quite a bit larger than I was anticipating, but that's okay. Ooh, no static for that one, yay. Then 742. I still need to go through and pick out ABs that I wanna add. There are already a ton of ABs in the kit, but I think I'm still gonna add more because you can never have too much bling, right? All right, then 976. 
And like I said, after I get all of these done and put in here, I think the rest of them will all fit in the very small containers. I think. All right, then three, three, seven, one. Plus I think this kit is gonna be super cute when it's finished. But also because it's a new to me place, I've never done a kit from this store before. I'll have to see what it's like. And then I can report back to you guys. All right, three, eight, three, four. So once I get these all kitted up, then I'll go through my little binder, which is how I'm storing my ABs at the moment. I have my spare storage. Like I said, I don't know if that's going to, all of my spares are gonna travel with me to Canada. We'll see. Ooh, a little bit of static in this one. These are all just a little bit staticky, which, I mean, it could be worse. So I don't wanna to be too upset about it, but they are a little staticky which can always make it challenging when you're trying to kit up. Woof. All right, hopefully that was the last of the static. Okay, so now I'm gonna move to the real tiny ones. And all of the ABs are at the beginning for this one. So let's get stickers on. Let me move these out of the way since I won't be using those. All right, so I've got seven ABs. Let's hope these aren't staticky like the other ones were. There aren't very many of them though, so hopefully it will go fairly smoothly. Yeah, just not very many drills at all. Look at that, it's almost empty. So we'll do all of our ABs. I'm still waiting on my pixie dust drills to arrive. Hopefully those will be here soon because I would like to finish my little rabbit kit that I've been working on because that's going to finish up the last, that'll be my last kit for the Diamond Art Club Challenge, which I would like to finish. So if I finish that kit and this one, that'll be another two finishes. And I would like to get them both done before the end of October. This one because it's Halloween. The other one just because it'll be another finish. That can be two projects that I have completed before I move on to DP for Veterans in November. If you haven't signed up for DP for Veterans yet, why not? I will stick a link down below for the entry form. You do need to fill out both the entry and exit forms. And you do have to have a finish, so make sure not to pick something that's so huge that you can't finish it in a month. I know not all of us have the same amount of diamond painting time, so just something to be aware of. All right, so that's the last of the ABs. Those didn't have any static, so happy about that. Now, I don't have very many of these left, so I'm going to have to go get some other ones, but let's see of these. All of those look like they're going to go in one container. I've got five, so I'll go ahead and do my 310. And then after I get all of these done, I will have to go hunt up some more of the small size containers so that I can get those, what's what I have left, kit it up, kit it up. Because I still have quite a few colors. There were 64 colors in this which a lot of those are ABs, but still, that's a lot of colors. So getting everything kitted up hopefully won't take too long because so many of these, there aren't very many colors or very many quantities of drills. But there are a lot of colors. But these haven't been very staticky, so that's good. I say that, and then I have some static, of course. I like that kind of green color. All right, 209. So I could kit this up by color, I guess, but because I'm using my Elizabeth Ward, it tends to be by quantity of drill when I do it this way. I just like having all of the small containers together, all of the larger containers together, everything. That maybe that doesn't matter to some people. You can just put them all in there willy nilly. but I like having them somewhat organized. I can't believe for a Halloween kit, this is all the 310 that's in there. That's crazy. I think it's literally just her eyes. 
and maybe the eyes of the ghost. All right, let me go get some more of the tiny containers because I'm pretty sure that's what I need for the next batch here. Yeah, all of these look like they're gonna fit in those little tiny containers, so let me grab some of those. All right, so I've grabbed some more of the very small containers. Now I need to get all of the stickers put on them. I appreciate that these stickers are smaller, which makes them fit onto the containers a little bit better, but it does make them a little harder to deal with, even with my small fingers. I'm just looking at some of these symbols here. Some of these are ones that remind me of Diamond Painting Deutschland. So there's like the candle one. I've only ever seen that in Diamond Painting Deutschland. Also this little coffee mug here. I wonder if there's like a standard set of diamond painting or DMC symbols that people use. It'd be nice if they were all uniform and like everybody used the same one. So for instance, no matter what company you got it from, number one was the symbol one, number two was the symbol two, and then it went, they all went to alphabet or whatever. Or at least they were consistent from DMC number to DMC number. So like 310 was always, like Diamond Art Club is always the black square with the dot, the white dot, if everybody did that. But I suppose then it could be considered proprietary. Although they're all using DMC numbers, which I'm pretty sure they don't call them DMC numbers, but do they? Does like DAC and Dreamer Designs, do they call them DMC numbers or do they just, well, I guess not Diamond Dots because Diamond Dots uses their own system. So they don't use DMCs. wonder if the DMC company knows or cares that it's being used by diamond painters. Although for copyright purposes or trademark purposes, maybe it does. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I thought I heard one fall, but I guess not. All right, there's that one. Uh-oh, got those out of order. Phew, good thing I've looked because that was not in order. What did I do? Interesting. That could have been bad. Could have been a big mistake. All right, I think I have everything else in DMC order, so I don't put something where it doesn't belong. That would be bad. All right, 420. There are some really cute colors in this kit. A lot of oranges and greens and browns, obviously, but some pretty yellows. Her hair, I think, and her shoes are like a pretty purple. Maybe that's what I did to get them out of order because I was trying to pick up staticky ones. Now I can't remember. And I know this isn't how a lot of people choose to kit up. I know there's a lot of people who will just number everything one, two, whatever, so they don't ever have to renumber their containers. And you can do it that way if you want. If that works for you, that's awesome. I happen to like the process of organizing all the containers and putting stickers on and all that stuff. I get that not everybody does. All right, those are a tad staticky. Look at that. Let's hope the rest of them are not like this. Okay, what number am I on? 25? So I'm getting close to being half done. Maybe I'm more than half done because I did some of the ones that were multiple bags already. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're just surrounded by bags of drills. I swear these later ones do not want to cooperate. They are not fun. All right, I thought that one was going to be staticky and it wasn't at all. Okay, I've just got these three colors and then I've already got these stickers, but then I'm out of the small containers again. So I'll need to go hunt up some more. Some of these, like this one, I maybe could put in the next size up container, but I don't know if I wanna do that or not. I feel like keeping them all in the smaller size containers make more sense in the, the tiny ones. I 
feel like that one's a little staticky. Let's see if I can get them to just go into the container because they're sticking everywhere. All right, last one. And then I will have to go hunt up some more containers. And if you like these Elizabeth Ward ones, you can get like knockoff versions at some of the budget companies. The Elizabeth Ward true Elizabeth Ward ones are not that expensive. I don't think you can catch them on sale. I have six trays. I bought three of them when they were on sale at Target for like 20 bucks. So if you can catch them on sale, because Target carries them as well as Amazon. And you can also get individual containers. Like if you, instead of buying an entire tray, if you just want more of the little tiny ones, they sell the containers individually too. So you can buy those. All right, let me go get some more of the small ones and I'll be right back. Also, while I'm putting all of these stickers on here, I don't know how well these will come off. I don't know if they are removable stickers or not. I guess I'll find out when I see how well they peel off. Usually if I complete a kit pretty quickly, then it's not a big deal because they haven't been on there long enough. They're not super stuck to it. All right, so these first three I feel like are kind of full. So let's see if they actually fit in here. I love this purpley color. I think that's in her hair. And no static. Oh, and it did fit in there, so awesome. Okay, so the rest of them should fit in here equally well. Kind of curious how much room I'm gonna have in my tray. I've got two full rows of these. Ooh, those did not wanna go in there. Let's see how staticky these are. Oof. Wouldn't be a kid up with me if I didn't spill something, right? This is actually the fourth or fifth time I've spilled something. I just don't put them all on the screen because I figure me spilling everything all the time would be boring, right? Static is not your friend when you are kidding up though. This is one of those in-between kits where there's not enough static to make me go get my static spray. It's just enough to be annoying. Okay, I feel like I lost one somewhere there, but all right. This is the last 700, and then I get to move into the 800s. Okay, so at least that one wasn't staticky. All right, so I think all these will go in here. Whoops, that one came apart. All right, that's the other good thing for me about these Elizabeth Ward trays being modular, not only can I pick the size that I want to use, but like this one, the lid is kind of getting loose. So at some point, if I want to just toss this one and replace it with one of my extras, I can. But I love these. These and my bottle cases, I think, are the only thing that are going to make a trip to Canada with me. All right, I'm getting close. Ooh, those did not have much static at all, like those like it when it's like that. Okay. 833. I grabbed some extra of the tiny sizes because I think that's all I'm going to need for all the rest of the drills. Since those ones that looked kind of full all fit in here. A little staticky, this one. All right, there's that one. We've got these left. After the 800s, then I'll move into the 900s. That was a little bit staticky. Didn't seem like it, but then they all jumped out. All right, 890, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing all the right DMCs for these. Those were kind of staticky, but hopefully they all jumped to the bottom. All but one, okay. 8.98, okay, so that's the last of the 800s, which just looks to be a little bit, ugh, or a lot of static. All right, the static seems to be getting worse as I go. That is not a trend I want to continue. Okay, so these two look kind of full, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these two since I've already got the stickers on. 
And then maybe I'll do those other two before I put the stickers on, just in case I want to move them up to the next larger size of container. This one will finish up a third row of the smallest size. Glad I had extras. All right, so that's the third row of that one. Now, let me just, before I put stickers on anything, no, I feel like that one will go in a small one. So let me do that. The next one though seems a little bit more full. So I'm gonna do the same thing with it. I'm gonna try and put it in this bigger one first. Okay, so that's in that one. Then this one seems kind of full. So let me put it in this big one first and see if that makes more sense for this one. So maybe it would have fit in a smaller one, but I'm okay with this one being in that size. So this is 938. Let me put that sticker on there. Okay, then I think all of the rest of them are going to go in here. Let's see if I have enough containers for everything. Okay, so I've got all of the stickers on here. And I think I'm gonna be three or four, oh, or maybe six short. I just realized I missed another pile of drills over there. All right, definitely not a fan of all the static. It seems like these containers or these packages that don't have very many drills have more static than the others, which is annoying to say the least. All right, but I just gotta get through it, right? Once I get done, then I can go through with my static spray if I really need to and get rid of some of the static in these. Sometimes just the act of dumping them out in my tray spreads them out enough that I don't need to worry about it. Must have heard me complaining because several of these have had no static. All right, where am I at here? Let me make sure I'm in the right order still. 3607 is kind of full, but I think they'll all go in there. All right, there's that one, 3608. And after I get done with all the ones that I have stickers on already, I have three stickers left. So that means I need three more of these small, tiny containers, I guess. This is going much faster when there's no static. Certainly appreciate that. Okay, definitely must have heard me complaining. All right, yeah, I think all of these are gonna go in this tiny containers. And if they all have that little static, that will be good for me. Heard a drill rattling around in there. I don't know if that was the previous color or just a loose drill. Sometimes when I empty my containers out, sometimes I miss a drill. And then when I go to kit up again, I'll realize there's a leftover drill still hanging around in there. All right, so I need three more of the tiny size containers. So let me go grab those real quick. All right, so I've got these last three here. 
Hopefully they are static free. And then I am done. All right. That one didn't have any, oh, a little bit of static. Spoke, ugh, spoke too soon and then I spilled them everywhere. All right, there's that one. And then my last container here. All right. So here is my container. Look at all these colors. So I did go back off camera because I needed some more space and I wanted everything to kind of fit in one tray. I've got four rows of the very tiny containers and then I've got some that were the ones that I had two bags of. The ones that I had in the extra large containers, these two I managed to get into this size of container. I probably could go back and do it with this one as well, but I'm just gonna leave it like it is for now. I think this is nice and colorful. I've got purples, I've got yellows, I've got pinks, I've got blues, I've got greens. I think the only thing missing is like some bright reds, but that's okay. This is a Halloween kit. So oranges and some white for the little bitty ghost that will be in there. And I've got all of my eight ABs here in a row. I still probably will go through and pick out some additional ABs to add in, but eight's pretty good. So if I wanted to just do it with that, I could. Like I said, I'm hoping that this one goes super quick because I wanna finish this one before the end of the month and I'm already a couple weeks into October, so I need to get busy. So that is the kit up of conversation from Francesca Studio Works. I'll let you guys know what I think when I actually start working on it. So maybe you guys will see that in an upcoming whip and chat. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.